Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released for Farm Sim 22, and boy, oh boy, today is a good mod day. In total, we got 27 mods for all platforms, 12 new and 11 updates, and PC and Mac players got three new and one update. In this video, I'll show you all the new mods, plus their customization options, and we will review all the mods that got an update. Of course, we'll take a look at some of the new mods and see how they work as well. It's going to be a fun one. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have Antigonia. This is a Northern Greece style map you got 40 fields of all sizes eight grass fields as well there's also some small fields that you can buy from other farmlands you have six cell stations total with everything that you need 20 collectibles not 100 but 20 is good for me there is a water source removable fencing gates animal dealer precision farming compatibility which is pretty cool and you have one ownable silo they do say to keep in mind for uh the best experience fields with no ai are the ones smaller than field number four so if we jump in here and take a look at field number four which i have no idea where field number four is found it <laughs> so it's right here this little guy so field smaller than that do not have uh workers that's not going to be easy to figure out. Nonetheless, there you go. Well, this is also the PDA, by the way. We've got a bunch of Bible areas. It does look like we pretty much purchased the entire thing, minus this little strip on the outside. We could buy almost everything up to that point, which, again, is very, very nice. We've also got some uh, small little areas that you can't buy as well, but... Just keep that in mind. As far as the outside of the map, you can see this is built onto a standard one, uh, one X or two kilometer by two kilometer space, but it only takes up part of it. This big black square, dark green square, that is a full size map like your base game maps. Um, you can't get out there. However, if you could fly high enough, you can get out there. So you may be able to go around, see if you can find a uh, spot or something like that. But just heads up if you're farming in maybe this field for example you're gonna see a line of grass and you're gonna get to a point just can't move any further out so there is that just heads up there let's take a look at your new farmer pieces we have the bureau 6105 you got your Ross Smash nova for the combine harvester we got a lizard pickup and then for tools with velgo trailer we got a header small plow cultivator cedar and we got a header trailer. Next, we got the land clearing pack. And this is such a cool pack. This may be one of the more, say, realistic mods, but you could definitely use it to do a little bit more role playing if you would wish. I know Trucker Matsy basically burned down a house this morning in a live stream. And Mr. Farmer Cops also released recently a video showing exactly how to use this in your game. We'll show you a little bit today as well. So this includes two pieces. We've talked about both of these in Farm Sim News. The fire is quite literally it. It's a fire. You get in it, you activate it, and what it will do is just create fire. It's like six little pieces of fire, and it makes everything in, in it disappear that is a log, which is very nice. Then we have the Quick Claw. This is neat as well because we've got a capacity for realistic or unrealistic that's going to be 2500 liters or 5000 liters it will work with your volvo excavators but it does work with some other excavators in game as well they say we can change up the main color which is very nice but this also is a stump grinder and creates field so let's get both of these together and let's go ahead and get ourselves a volvo excavator when we do we want to make sure we get the fast coupler that's going to give us exactly what we want from here so First things first, let's take a look right here at this. Oh, I am not lined up correctly. Got it. <laughs> so now what we've got is the bucket. And we can open and close so you can grab a hold of uh, logs or anything that you've got. I'm pretty bad at controlling these, at least for the controller, but you could do that. Now, it also says turn on quick claw functions which basically activates the quick claw. Let me show you guys this. So this claw right here has a bunch of different functions. And when you turn on the functions, all of them are activated. So it can form as a, a bucket, a grapple, removing stumps, knocking down trees, clearing bushes, and creating fields. So since we've got a tree right here, let's knock it down. And uh, I have heard that it's a little bit difficult, maybe at first, especially for someone of my talent, to try and knock down a tree. So let's see if I could do that. Well, I'm definitely creating fields, so at least there's that. Oh, hang on, didn't it knock it from the side or something like that? Or perhaps I'm just an idiot. <laughs> hey, I did it! I'm so good at this game, yeah! 
So there we go. There's your that. And then we've also got the stump grinder version as well. So we come over here and kind of act like you're digging it up and it's gone. How cool is that? Now that we've done that, we want to grab this right here. This is going to aid us in allowing us to make some of these wood disappear. So let's take it about right here. And we want to enter it. Now you can go around and see there's no entering way or anything like that. But it seems like if you pick it up and like put it back down, you're able to enter it. So that is nice. So you pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, and you're good to go. So now you can see turn on fire. Something I never thought I would see in Farming Simulator. Oh yeah, you got to start the engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fire! Yeah! <laughs> and then we'll drag, grab the tree with some... Uh, that and bring it over here and it will basically make the tree disappear. Now something else that's kind of interesting is you can also uh, pick up the fire, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> here we go, we'll disable the, uh, the, oh, I think it fell. I broke the game, oh no. Back away slowly. Next up we have the Lizard TAC 21,000. Having a little bit too much fun with mods today. This has got a, well, 48,000 liter capacity, and it is going to be for your sugarcane crop. So that it does include your grapes, you've got your chaff, silage, potatoes, sugar beets, manure, and of course, all of your chaff products, which is very nice. There's two of these. One works as manual, and the other one works as just a pipe out, and it'll raise it and dump like that, which is very, very cool. That's the second version. It's kind of nice to have that feature, to be honest with you. So 48,000 liter capacity. Will Brands from BKT, Nokian, Bradstein, Trellebook, Michelin, and back in again. And we could change up a few of these as well, which is very, very nice and very handy. Water reservoir, no or yes. Now, I don't actually know what that does for it in the game, but it exists nonetheless. It's only 10 bucks. Template version, so we have the 21,000 or the 22,000 again. Um, for you guys in the game itself, this isn't going to change much, but it's just two different versions of the same mod. Box left stickers. So we've got nothing showing up. There we go. So a couple different ones through there. However you'd like for those layout. Front and right stickers. These can be changed up too if you need. Even the rear stickers as well. Now, header stickers. These are going to be on the very front. You can even change those stickers up. Rear lighting. We do have multiple different colors of your lights for the rear down at the bottom. And then auxiliary unloading lights. We have to do some extra lights here. I would definitely highly recommend those. Main color, all of the above is basically it. We do have that red chrome, which I know a lot of you guys really enjoy. And we've got some other stuff here as well, like a purple onion. That's kind of a matsy color right there. Looking good, looking good. We'll just go back to the orange for now. Color of the hydraulics, you could change those up however you want. Water reservoir color, you could change that up. And rim color. Again, we got a bunch of stuff through here. Black Chrome, oh yeah. Next, we've got the Lizard 20T trailer. This holds 27,100 liters and it's going to be bulk crop, which is very nice. Weighs six tons, if you guys are curious about that. Configuration, we do have standard. You can bump an extension up to 44,700, but standard is just fine. Will Brands from Trail the Bork, Michelin, BKT, Rodestan, and back in again. And we can change a few of these up between standard and wide tires. Designs, so we have side markers or not. Design, we have red decals or not. I'm trying to find, ah, okay, so that's just on the rear. It looks very good. Main color options through here as well. We do have a standard like red, gray, green, blue, and black. We do have cloth green. We've also got yellow. And then we get into the base game colors. They've decided and said, hey, if you don't want our custom colors for whatever reason, well, here's all the base game colors. Do what you need to do. We've got the same thing through here as well. No chrome on the wheels, but I'm not sure you'd see one of these chrome out in the real world anyway. Um, design color... I uh, imagine that's probably going to be the extension. And it is. And lastly, we have another design here that's going to be on the very front. We'll just change that orange so you can see. Rim colors are rim colors with base game gray and all of the above. Very cool trailer. I like this. Next up, we got the Lizard Straw Bale trailer. This is basically the Camaro Straw Bale trailer from Calaruga Modding and Design. We talked about this at Farm Some News, and it is finally here. Holds 21 bells. These are going to be square bells only between 180, 220, and 240. Auto loading 
Yes or no. You don't have to have it if you don't want it. And design. We've got a couple different designs here. These are all going to be for the back. Looking great. Just. We've got a chassis color of yellow. We can also change that to white if you guys want. Attacher type. we got a couple different attachment lengths right here, depending on what you're pulling it with. Design color. These are going to be all of your basic main color, really. Rim color. We do have chrome. We have silver. And we have black back to the beginning again it doesn't have a rear hitch but this is meant to be pulled behind their man truck so if you got that hey now you've got two things to match next is the joss container 3500 this is a spreader eight meters at nine miles per hour holds 3500 liters that's going to be slurry and digestate it will also hold water as well but i think that's only if you guys are using this with uh um your, your your pumps and hoses yeah there you go words out loud 35 horsepower 1.6 ton hose we've got with left right both or nada and we have slurry tanker or mobile water tank okay so that's how they do that i do apologize hose connections oh we've got a couple different colors that's about it. As far as I know, this does not work with the Pumps and Hoses DLC, although it is compatible with everything base game, which is perfect. Here's a pretty cool one, a drop spreader, the John Deere LF-12. This holds 1,548 liters of solid fertilizer or lime, 286 kilogram weight, and it goes eight miles per hour. It doesn't say anything about the working width on the game, but however, it is 3.65 meters. Main color? No, yellow or green for the top, and that's about it. This is pretty cool. I know it's small, and it's probably not going to do a lot of land very quickly. But if you're doing something small, I think it's pretty cool. My man, J&G Farms Modding. What up, dude? He has released his Paladin Walkthrough Forks. Don't let the name confuse you. There's really no walking through here, but uh, you do have some things you've got. So forks, you got medium, long, it just forks. So you can choose between those guards, get a couple different guard sets as well, which is really nice to see. I like that. And then we've got our main colors, basically all of the above, whatever you need. Probably Onyx Black is going to match literally everything. These are meant to be used on skid steers. So heads up there, we'll go ahead and get ourselves a set and we may as well go ahead and get ourselves a skid steer added as well. Let's go with a Kubota. I always love these Kubota ones. Let's rent that. Let's grab it. Let's hook up to it and see what we could do with it. It's a very good looking piece of kit right here. Let's hook up. Let's go, DJ. Got him. So up and down as you would expect. And let's see here. So I've got adjustments. However, it is not doing the adjustments that I thought maybe a different version of the pallet forks possibly. So we've go for the long forks here. We'll go ahead and drop those right there and we'll go ahead and grab on to these. And do we have the adjustments? Yes, we do. So we have full adjustments, nice and slow. We'll go ahead and <laughs> beep beep. And we'll drop those and hook up here. Maybe it was just something that I was doing. It could have easily been that as well. So those are working perfectly fine. It does have an up and down, but I'm not quite sure what the up and down does. I don't see, see anything. Mm, I'm not quite sure. Let's look back up to these because I want to make sure that I haven't done anything wrong. Nope, so those are just sitting still. Unless you got regular ones longer ones and medium ones next up we have some pallets this is the diesel pallet it is 1000 liters and then we have the diesel pallet this one is 4000 liters pricing is uh matching that as well 500 or 2000 liters yeah it's just diesel there you go very cool and some placeables as well starting off with the silo shed agronopolis from here guys like an agro mod so through here we have an indoor silo it's also drive through as well or you back in if you really want to and they got some lines on the ground which looks really cool now this is supposed to be uh for their agronopolis map so of course with south american you've got this bright red dirt that's where you're going to tip. That is where you're going to get it out. And then, of course, on the outside, we have a couple storage options and little bits and bobs here and there. This is going to cost you $120,000 with a capacity of 300,000 liters. Speaking of sheds, we have the Brazilian shed. Now, this, interestingly enough, are two, but it doesn't say that there are two. Price is going to be $27,000. Here you go. We've got one entry and then another entry way over there. And then over here, we basically got just the open shed but only open from 
one side. Looking very good. Again, $27,000, 20 bucks per day. So this next one's actually difficult to show because it is the snow guard fence and it only shows up during certain times of the year. So for example, I have just drawn a fence, snow guard fence right over here, but you can't see it, which kind of stinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and uh, set a December and Actually, you know what? I think I got a better idea. Now, well, maybe I'm just an idiot. Uh, I've added snow. <laughs> Let's go back over here to decorations and fences and the gate. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, fence only appears again. Oh, the next in-game day for technical reasons. Well, that is definitely good to know. So I want to make sure that you guys could actually see this because there's no reason to just be like, oh yeah, I don't know what happened. So I don't know what happened. I don't want to be that guy. I definitely don't want to be that guy. So let's see. Can we sleep through the night? Man, this takes forever. There you go. All right. So there are your fences. We got a couple of them down. The snow guard gate. Fence, fence, not a gate. Fence, yeah. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up, we have the Another World version 1.1. Fix decorations, removal of flying objects, fix their career, fix the water planes, and addition of tree in the fields. Next up, the map Borneath got an update. This is gonna be version 1.2.0.1. Custom soil map for precision farming. Everything in the main yard is now sellable. I know that's very important to a lot of players. Also, players can now interact and sell the dog. And when contract delivering to Grain Elevator, the icon was displayed at the wrong location on the map. Well, no worries. That has been fixed. They do say info, a new save game is required. So heads up there. Next update for all platforms, the self-made Bell Fork version 1.0.1. Bell trigger adjusted for dynamic mount version and improved the behavior with three quarters bales. Square bales? Three square bales. Yeah, I learned how to read. Moving on. Your next update, the Lizard P93S Pack version 1001. Fixed an issue with opening the sidewalls. Backlifter got updated to version 1.001. .001. Clean log file and raise the description version. Great update. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on for the Parker 4000 Gravity Wagon. This is version 1.002. Fixed lagging in certain multiplayer situations. Next is a fun word to say, the Agriman Utention Tool Pack. It took a while to say that out loud. Version 1.0.1, .1, the addition of Palafore GT. 18. Next up, the Lizard Underbelly Trailer, version 1.0.2.3, fixed the problem causing the trailer not to operate correctly with course play and added standard and extra capacity options. Very cool there. So now we've got a, I believe it's a 40,700 and a 50,000 liter uh, single tub right there. And then now it looks like we have 40,000 or 120,000 liter. That's pretty cool. Next up, shovel version 1.2 added many more color configurations and, and added i tin in translations. The Ringian Farm Set version 1.1 I got an update added new created pigsty and marker added straw unloading egg pallet and manure output place chicken fattening I have no idea what that means and your last update for all platforms the pack of beehives version 2 they've added two new beehives making our way over two new mods for pc and mac players first one is the kamaz 45 143 amcar a new pickup truck or well dump truck more or less 305 horsepower manual transmission 210 liters of fuel 55 miles an hour and holds 18,500 liters now we can bump that from a grain body to body for silage if you guys want to jump up to 29,000 but those are the only two bodies right there we're brands we do have the uh come on and yeah uh, dmck forward uh, back and forth between those right there. Configuration of the mirrors. We get a couple different setups for those, which is nice to see. Facing configuration. We have a couple different ones for the very front. Steering wheel configurations. Now, these are always difficult to see, but you can change up between a couple different ones there if you want to. Your main color options. These are all of them. Everything you would expect to see from a Kamaz. So, that's nice. And then your design for the very back. You can change that up between these right here. And lastly, your license plate. Your second new one for PC bank players today is the Bushel Plus from BC Bill Farms. Uh, so Yos is <laughs> on here as well. And uh, Akinzi, I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced that one. Anyway, uh, in real life, what this does is it more accurately uh, measures your combine harvester so you know exactly what it's doing and maybe you can calibrate your combine that way. Well, in the game, it just gives you an extra 10%. 
which is very, very cool. All you got to do is buy one of those, and then we need a combine harvester. So let's get one of these. This will work perfectly fine. You do want one that's got a rear attachment. If it doesn't have a rear attachment, I don't believe it's going to work for this. At least that is my understanding. So we'll come around here, and we'll back up to it. We'll get it just about there. Hook it up. Now, it is going to show that it's there one of the nice things is with some movements we can actually move this around a little bit so even with a console uh, controller we can move it which is very nice he does say to put this below your bottom uh, let's see can i can i get it up there close enough <laughs> there we go so that's about where you want it and what we got to do here is unfold the harvester so we've got that um, you can enable straw swath if you want to. All that is very, very good. And I believe there was some type of like folding mechanism or something we had to do. Fold, unfold. But I'm not uh, not seeing anything. Pipe in, pipe out, open cover. There we go. So now it is working. And then all we got to do simply is close cover. And it will jump back to it, depending on how far away from it you are. Anyway, uh, basically, just do all that, and you get an extra 10% on your Combine Harvester. Very cool. And your last mod, new one for PC and Mac players today, is the Palette Additional Features. This right here automatically modifies all palettes from the base game and adds a new feature set, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Uh, all of that will apply to new palettes on your farm. If you have any existing, it will not apply. All palettes are now uh, available in the game store as well so enhanced functionality to the pallets they've added the possibility to load all compatible vehicles with pallets for example lizard rumbler van things like that also that's from the same modder so it does make sense they've also added the ability to unload any product from the game to the respective pallet of all compatible vehicles example the lizard rumbler van again uh, added the ability to attach all pallets to all compatible vehicles like the csz pallet fork which again is a mod by the same creator here and all pallets can be connected with tail handler skid steer front loader or wheel loader without any attachment so using only the machine itself we do have a few other things like that so you should be familiar with that they've also added all new pallets for productions that the game did not include a pal or product pallet for all pallets can be sold directly without transporting them to the point of sale that's huge and handy all pallets of this mod may be added to the game store we talked about that all production points after installing this mod will use and create new pallets to this mod again new pallets to the game that would make sense and all animal production points after installing this mod will use and create the new pallets to this mod again as mentioned before and your very last mod today color configurator update for pc and mac players this is version 1.2 added color selector added text fields for entering hsv color values and minor ui changes well guys that's it for today's mod video i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel we got mr truckermancy and we got mr alex over here at the house hanging out with us today uh we're gonna have a good time i apologize for this video coming out a little bit later than normal but uh, i'm trying to take care of some people over here nonetheless i hope you have a great awesome wonderful rest of your day check out and farm some news from earlier we'll see you guys later peace